Hi, in this video we're going to do a counting problem and we're going to do it two different ways. Let's go ahead and read the question carefully. How many ways to choose a president, vice president, treasurer, and a secretary from a group of 24 members? Let's go ahead and do it first without the formula and then we'll do it with a formula. So solution one. So there are 24 members and we want to choose a president, a vice president, a treasurer, and a secretary. So there's 24 ways to choose the president. And then once we've chosen the president, there's 23 members left. So there's 23 ways to choose a vice president. We've chosen two people, so we have 22 members left. So 22 ways to choose a treasurer. And then lastly, 21 ways to choose a secretary. The multiplication rule for counting says that the answer is the product of these individual ways and this is actually equal to 255,024. That's how many ways there are to choose a president, vice president, treasurer, and secretary from a group of 24 members. Wow! Solution two is going to be with the formula. Some people prefer this. Also, if you have a calculator, you can do this in your calculator, which makes it really convenient. The formula is NPR, and this is equal to N factorial over n minus r factorial. In our particular example, n is 24. We have 24 distinct objects, distinct members, and we want to select four of them where the order matters because the positions are different. So r is 4. So this is 24p4, which is 24 factorial over 24 minus 4 factorial, which is 24 factorial over 20 factorial, so this is equal to 24 factorial is 24 times 23 times 22, right, times 21 times, and then it's going to be 20, 19, 18, 7, so the rest of this is just 20 factorial over 20 factorial. So this is 24 times 23 times 22 times 21, and this is not only the same answer, it's the same exact expression we had up here, which is really beautiful. So this ends up being 255,024. So two different ways to do uh, the same problem. Kind of interesting, right? Hopefully this has been helpful and you've learned some math. Good luck.